Hey guys, this is Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and today I am going to be reacting to some trans TikToks. So, basically, my partner Sam has recently downloaded TikTok. They've been sending me a bunch of TikToks, and I've noticed that there are three main categories when it comes to TikToks. They're either one, really cringy, two, extremely attractive people just dancing around, or three, relatable as hell. So, today I'm going to be reacting to some trans TikToks to see how cringy they are and also how relatable they are. If you guys want to see the full of the videos that I'm reacting to, they will be linked down below in the description. Okay, I love those suspenders. I want rainbow suspenders. That just reminded me that I don't have any suspenders. I need to get some. <laughs> yeah, literally all of those. Especially in the bathroom. Like, I've gotten better using public bathrooms now. Because, like, I'm, I pass more, so it's just like, in and out. For real. Guess what? I found out this person's dead name. Okay. I'm gonna call them by their dead name. Okay. Um, hear me out. Here's a better option. You could just not. Yeah. What's the point of finding someone's dead name? Like, what's so thrilling about that? Like, why do you guys need to know? I don't understand it. It's like, it doesn't affect life anymore. You know what I mean? Yes, that was literally me. Oh my god, I feel like that's with Sam's family. Like, Sam always says that, like, that's what happens. Fortunately for me, though, I was, like, kind of just, like, allowed to wherever I want. Like, my parents just, like, let me be, which is awesome, because, like, that really helped with me, like, experimenting, like, who I was and everything. Like, they probably noticed when I started binding, when I was, like, what, 17, 18? But, like, they didn't say anything. Like, they're the type of people that, like, let you figure things out, and it's like, we'll talk about it once you're, like, open to talk about it. You know what I mean? So it's just, like, really awesome that my parents did that, like, my family and everything. I like this hat. I like this hat because this is trans, and it's got the trans pride colors. I like to wear it, but the main reason I like it is because in the mirror it says snort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm snort. I like those things for pride, but like I wouldn't wear that all year round. I don't know. I'm weird about it because like I'm happy. Like ah, I don't know how to explain it. Like no one wants to be trans, you know. But like I'm still a proud trans man. Like I'm proud of myself for realizing who I truly am, and like you know risking it and actually going through my transition and actually even filming it and like posting it to you guys. Like that's crazy and everything. Like obviously I'm out. I'm on YouTube and everything like that. But it's like, I don't want to be just introduced as like the trans guy, the trans friend, the trans family member, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's why, I, and like, I just want to help myself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm more comfortable where like, I typically wear whatever I want out now, even if it has like some, like, feminine qualities to it. But it's like, I still wouldn't wear a hat that says like, yo, I'm trans. Hey, I'm right here. Come tell me all the bullshit how I'm going to hell. Changing my name was the first step in my transition. That was the first thing that like started it, you know? It was just like, I'm really freaking doing this. I'm changing my name. I'm trying to get on testosterone. It was like so cool. It's a really awesome moment. It's like so weird like how the most simplest moment, it just means so much. Like once after I get top surgery, the simplest thing of me going to DMV and changing my gender mark to that stupid fucking F to an M is literally gonna be so freaking amazing because you show your ID everywhere. You know, going into bars and stuff like that. The person will just like look at me and they're just, 
you know, I actually had a person didn't accept my ID because it said F and they actually thought I stole my sister's ID. I was like, are you kidding me? Because like my photo is me pre-T and I am six months on T now, but it was just like, are you serious? <laughs> scared of that because I actually had a secret Instagram for a while so like I had two accounts and Alternate Journey was actually my second account and it's just like I was always scared that someone was gonna like just say something because like there I was out first for like maybe like for, like a full year before I actually came out to anybody within my family and friends and I actually changed my name to Chandler on that page it's just so funny because like no one questioned it they just let me do my thing and it's just so cool like I love the people in my life like I'm extremely lucky for that like and I know that it could have gone so much worse of course I still get like a nasty DMs all the time from transphobic people but you're always gonna get those and you just like you delete them you just erase them from your memory because like you can argue with people all you want but you're never gonna change someone's mind that is just so close-minded and like they think that they're right all the time and it's just like you know what, just don't send any more hate out into the world for this individual, for the close-minded thinking. You can just move on with your life and just leave that in the past. Yes! Okay, I've never seen anyone do that. Like, it kind of looks realistic. Like, it's kind of like a 5 o'clock shot when a guy doesn't shave for a couple days and usually look like that. Damn, I've never, like, heard of that. What? I've never seen that. What? Why am I just discovering this now? What? I might have to try that one day. I don't know. Is that weird? I kind of want to know what it would look like, though. Fuck. <laughs> According to you. According to you. But according to him, how beautiful he can get me out of his head. According to him. See, that was me when I was like, kind of like living a double life and everything, like work and family. I was still my dead name and being called she, her, but yet on Instagram and, so, and like other social media platforms, I was being called he, him. And then after a while, I was actually changed my name to Chandler on those so social media platforms. And it felt freaking amazing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Why is this me when I first got a binder? That was so me. Hi, how can I help you today? Um, I think I'll just be taking a large iced coffee. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be 5.45. <laughs> no problem. Here you go. Thank you. You have a great day. Man. Thanks. Yeah. Thank Literally, I had so many interactions like that. Like, if you don't know, just don't say anything and just don't assume. Like, it makes it so extremely awkward. I ain't watching movies all the time. Ooh, and that went away for doing my first crime. And I never thought that we was gonna see each other. See each other. 
and then I came up. See, I would say that all the time. Like, who wants to be a girl? Why is that true? Oh my god. You know what's better though? When an old black man calls you son. Like, I was working with this guy and he handed me something. This old black man and he called me son. I was just like, yes, it was so validating. I just like felt like that, but like times 10. Like, I don't know. It's just really freaking awesome. Why is that? Why was that every guy on Tinder? Also, can we just stop and like, why are all these trans individuals so attractive and I'm just here looking like this? Oh my god, queen, oh my god, <laughs> legend, oh my god, yeah, uh, break the gender rules, oh my god! Why is, why is that so accurate? Like, seriously, what? Like, why does it matter how people, like, portray themselves? Whether it's, like, in the masculine terms or the feminine terms. It's like, let people live. It's just clothing and expression. Come on. Mr. Male. Love the hair. And if you're somewhere in between, you're wearing a crop top. Yes! Love that. Oh my god, like, you cut your hair and... It's like, looked so much better when it was long. I, I, what are your pronouns? Are you like a boy? Bitch, I'm about to be a criminal. The fuck? Catching these homicides. Yes. Actually, no one really said that they hated my hair. Or like, it looked better, like, longer. Because like, I was so uncomfortable with my hair, probably. And it was just like, I had terrible long hair. So like, when I was 14 and I cut it. Like, yes, a lot of people liked it, but, like, also a lot of people asked me, like, was, like, so what, you're a lesbian now or something? And it was just, like, no, 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 I'm not that. And it's just, like, okay, so, like, are you trying to be a boy? And it's just, like, why you gotta ask weird questions like that? Why can't people just cut their hair? Like, seriously. Like, yes, I cut my hair to try to look more masculine, because, like, I just felt comfortable in more masculine things. But it was so funny, because, like, I remember trying to, like, I didn't, like, I felt like I had to convince my mom and everything, but she was just like, yeah, sure. But, like, I remember showing her a bunch of pictures of girls with short haircuts because, like, I thought it was just, like, if I showed a haircut that I wanted, and, of course, it was, like, a more masculine style, and it was, like, a man, I thought there would be, like, but that's a man's hair. But it's, like, why did I think that? It's, like, it's so funny how we just think that we have to, like, back things up. And it was just like, yeah, but, like, you see all these girls with short haircuts? I kind of like short haircut like that. But of course, when you do that, you end up with a pixie, and it was kind of feminine. But like, of course, like style in different ways, it looks more masculine. And now it's just so funny now, because like when I go to the, like the salon or barbershop now, of course I show like a, a picture and I make sure it's a guy. So it's just like now that I'm like kind of like enforcing like, please think I'm a guy, because I am a guy. So can't you see? I'm showing you a picture of a man's haircut, and it's a man. So I'm a guy. <laughs> it's just so funny how things just switch. Alright guys, those are the TikToks like, I have for you guys. I found a lot of them actually really relatable. So yeah, please comment down below any other uh, videos that you would like for me to react to or any other videos that you would like me to make in general, whether it's trans related or not. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. I make videos whenever I can, but you can always expect a monthly update on my transition. Alright, see you guys. <laughs>